Hello! You are currently watching a video that will go over how to use the soundboard in the studio. The soundboard is a large, is the large gray rectangle with all the buttons. I will show it to you soon, but it may seem intimidating when you first look at it, but I hope to ease your worries with this video. You will see labels underneath the orange lit buttons. Those are gonna tell you what fader or dial you can use to adjust the sound quality. Um, and if you'll follow me, we're gonna go over to the soundboard. This is the soundboard. The first four faders control the microphones in order from one, two, three, four, around the table starting at the DJ. The next ones you would use are AV Air 2 and AV RPS. These control the volume on the PC which is right here, playing Remain in Light by Talking Heads. The next fader you would use is labeled Mac, which, you guessed it, controls the Mac. So usually you can play Spotify from the Mac because this is for automation only. The next fader is the aux and you might be able to see it from here but there's an x and aux is the only word that has x in it that you would use so that's the one that you would use you can plug it into your phone or anything or your tablet or laptop using the aux cord it connects and correlates and you can play music like that. And finally, the last fader is the phone fader. And this controls the phone in the studio, which is right here. And the phone number is right here. So you can have people call in during your show. I personally tried it once and my show was a train wreck. But that's also because I'm kind of technologically inept. And then, these two faders at the end right here control the speakers that are right there and right there. You know. You know what a speaker looks like. And they also control where headphones would be plugged in right here. So the monitor is the he is the speakers and headphones is the headphones where they would be plugged in. And usually that's good if you have like other people with you so you know how loud you are over the stream. And it's also good for when you have a phone person in the stu phone person. If you have someone over the phone because then you can hear them. Um, now, you may see this black tape right here and you may think, what is that? Well, if you go past this black tape, the speakers will most certainly blow out. And we really don't want that because speakers, we like them. We wanna hear music. So just keep it below this and you notice if you have the volume up enough, you don't have to have this up very high. So it keeps the speakers low. It's a life hack for you. And at the top of the soundboard, you see these orange cubes right here. The first two rows must always be orange from here to there. Make sure you, that they are lit. 
The next two rows will have white buttons. These should remain white. Except for the white button above the fader labeled Mic 5. As you can see right here. Mic 5. That, mu that button must be orange. You can monitor the volume of the stream on the soundboard. You want to remain in the green, a good volume range. We're in the green. It goes a little to the orange, but that's okay. But no red. You don't see red. That's not red, that's the reflection from the button. So we're fine, we're okay here. I really don't wanna show you red because there's a, there's the bar. I really don't wanna show you red, but since I have it and Diego said to, so you can see it. Do you see the red? Yeah, don't do that. Okay. I believe that's just the basics of the soundboard. So thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.